Oh, thank God. Hello, everybody. I am the Linkzilla, and welcome back to God of War. I honestly never thought I'd be able to be saying this, but thank God for the autosave feature on this game, because <laughs> I recorded the next episode of God of War after we had entered Al Farheim. I have no idea how to, what it. <laughs> I have no idea what the name is or how to pronounce it. It. I actually got pretty far. I almost made it all the way to the temple, but I decided to cut it because, well, it was getting to the hour mark. I had spent a long time fighting, and I'd fought many battles and got my butt kicked a lot, so I thought that I wanted to take a rest. However, when I switched back to my main computer, I realized that, well, a few videos had been playing in the background, so I went back and checked, and... Thankfully, it seemed like only one video was affected. The episode where I started out in, I don't know, this new realm that we're in. You're going to see that it's the realm of the light and dark elves and they're fighting over it. But the point is, is that I wasn't about to submit that video because you'd basically have an episode of game theory playing over it. So, <laughs> anyway, it's good that I ended up doing this because with this save file... I can now go back and make sure that I get all the treasures that I missed, because there were a few that I wasn't able to take with me. So, let's get going. Hack silver. Don't go out wandering off, boy. Okay. What is that? What is what? I think you killed What gave it. you that impression? Whoa, what's that about? Not our concern, boy. Focus. It's actually going to be our concern pretty soon, Kratos, because we just literally walked into an active war zone. The Dark Elves are basically exterminating the, the Light Elves. What's that say? Boy, over here. What does it say? Hmm. Something about an eternal war for the light. I don't get it. If both sides need it, why not just share it? Greed. You will find it a common cause for war. You see, boy, a long time ago, there was a master who had some apprentices. And the master was a colossal troll. He started feeding his apprentices conflicting information and started turning them against each other. So, his apprentices took on apprentices of their own, and each one of them built up their own army of a bunch of... of a bunch of whiny little idiots who go around using giant keys as weapons, known as Keyblades. And this ended up sparking a war over the... over who gets to control the light, which is what became known as the Keyblade War. <laughs> and the master... Why did he do all this? He did all of it just because he thought the world needed they conflict. Keep murdering the light elves. It is war. The end of one. The robed one's lost. Oh. Here they come. Keep them down. Shoot 
Shatterer. What are they attacking us for? We didn't do anything. <laughs> More will come. We are in their territory. Yep, and that's just the first of them. It's gonna get worse. Ugh. Where's this stuff even come from? It comes from Hellboy. Huh, let's see. Two of them. I'm really glad that I figured this out as early as I did. <laughs> yeah. Did you say something? No. Oh, okay. Boy, I need your knife. Another cipher piece. I'll see what I can fit together. Good boy. Hey, look up ahead. At least we're getting closer to the light. Wait, is that Sindri? Sindri? Here? Compass area markers. When the compass turns gold, the an objective is somewhere in the area. Search the area for clues. Sindri? What the heck are you doing here? Okay, I remember when I was here. I think I did buy some upgrades. Look, there's a boat tangled up over there. I'm feeling creative. Today. I mean, I did get... Yeah, I bought the Resurrection Stone, so... I feel like this is going to come in handy, considering how badly I was getting my ass kicked, but... Uh, you know what? But right now, I'm just... With an axe... Brother lay his hands on again, but if he does, tell him to temper his steel longer. He's warping the bit work. Also, for those of you who are wondering why Sid why Brock is blue and Sidri isn't, you were gonna get the answer to that, and I actually thought that it was hilarious that they actually did that. So I don't wanna spend all my money on just Kratos, but I also don't wanna well, I actually just don't wanna spend all my money. I wanna get something for the kid, but Oh yeah, I think I got him the Talon Quiver last time. Yep. Don't make me regret it, boy. Was there more to discuss? No. Alright, so... Let's see... Grinding storm. Wait, do I actually have to purchase these or are they already unlocked? Yep, they're already unlocked. So. I could just upgrade them. Can I actually do that? Let me test it. Is that it? No. Holy. Yeah. 
Uh, that's more like it. Anyway, you see how these three are basically like all lined up? If you basically try to take them one at a time, it won't work. But, you see, boy, in this life, everything is just all a matter of perspective. Hope you guys don't mind, but I gotta have myself a snack while I do this episode. What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Boy, trust me. Where I come from, hearing voices in your head is not a good thing. Let's get some dew. Did your mother speak of this realm? Not much. Just that since the elves are always fighting over the light, they kept them isolated. Wouldn't want them uniting now, would we? <laughs> Yggdrasil's Dew of, Dew of Cooldown? <laughs> Epic. A drink from the Dew of the World Tree brings lasting benefits. Cooldown permanently increased by two. <laughs> All right, boy, let's move. You got something to say? Huh? Again, I said nothing. Wait, could have sworn you said something. Atreus! <coughs> boy! <Where's> boy? <clears throat> Voices! You don't hear that? I hear nothing. <clears throat> it's going away now. It was screaming. Look. Lots of voices. Look Ooh. at Kratos. He's concerned. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt... evil. Atreus has markings on his face. They look like scars, but I can't tell what kind. Is he bur- was he burned? Are those... burn scars? Elves. Look! Should we try talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. At least this river puts on a good face. Look at that. That must be the Wing Temple. This place is going to cause me a whole lot of headaches. Alright, start talking about the elves, boy. It's sad the elves can't work things out. How if I'm such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You... know about war, don't you? I am Wars war. are fought for two things. Survival or advantage. Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. Just like you, eh, Kratos? Took you a while to understand what you truly sacrificed that day, didn't you? They were as good as dead the moment you called his name. The first time I was here, I accidentally interrupted that dialogue by landing on the shore, so... When Atreus and I go back to the boat, as we're going to do in a few minutes, <laughs> he actually picks up by asking a follow-up question. You said I see things like a child. What do you mean? And then Kratos finishes that, the rest of that line. That's clever. The blue 
door. That's got to be the entrance. Let's go. Careful, boy. What are they doing? Dark elves. They're planting those tentacles. Those plants. The bridge is gone. They covered the crystal with that stuff. To impede us. To prevent reinforcements. Ah! Yourself. Ambush! Jump off, boy. Keep him down. Believe me, you want to execute these guys in any way that you can. He wasn't even half the man I was. Okay, so we gotta find a way to restore the bridge. Which means we gotta go all the way down there. Maybe we can fix the bridge from down there? First, we gotta find a way down there. Problem with us. We do not belong here. We're on their territory. Wait, combined together like that, they kind of look like a room. It doesn't make sense. Come. Back to the boat. As I said, boy, all things in life are a matter of perspective. Was kind of hoping he had something else to say, but... Sindri said, Mother was a warrior. Was she in a war too? Of a sort. 
Her family was decimated by hostile rivals, and she alone survived. She walked the warrior's path, but her war was to live on, to brave an unforgiving world alone. And that's why she has Sindri and Brock to make her the axe? She had the strength to wield such a weapon, and the wisdom to use it for good. She found purpose in protecting the weak. So, she'd help out the elves? No. I could, I'm starting to see why you were so attracted to her, Kratos. Because I was wondering who this woman could possibly be that would make you move on from Lysandra. Father, the pillars and ring form an elvish room. Can you room. read it? What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most Water. Pure. Yep, it's water, all right. Without me or within me. <gasps> Boy! <gasps> Boy! It was the voices again, but different voices. Less angry. They were asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. Luger. What's happening? Whoa! Look what we found! That's our way down. Father? Yes? The voices I heard. It was hard to make out, but way in the back, I'm pretty sure I heard mother. That is not possible. But I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. Who they want he looks different. Look at those horns. Do not do Behind me, boy. Here comes a new challenger. That can't no, be. No, it's not. Good work, boy. The Dark Elves. You know what? I'm not in the mood to read this. This is one of the parts that I ended up missing last time because, well, eh, I didn't exactly because I tried searching through here while the fight was going on, so I did know that I could actually interact with anything. Because everything locks up when you're in a battle. You know, I don't think that these are offerings to the gods. Stay away from those cages. I wonder why they're locked up. They're locked up for practice. I don't think that those uh, hanging things are offerings to the gods so much as they are people who go on camping trips and string up their food and supplies in bags from the trees so that the bears can't get them. <laughs> anyway, the one that I want to do is over here. I'm so glad that I figured out how to do it. Brace yourself, boy. Be ready. What? Trust me, it will be. 
It took me a while to figure this one out because I kept thinking that it should be simpler than it is. You want to hit the back wall. And you got to basically do precise aiming because you have to hit both on the return trip. Gotcha! <laughs> that was easier on the second go around. Nice, Talon. Heavy runic attack. But that's only the first of one of the many treasures that I had to leave behind. Hack! Silver. <laughs> Alright, time to start another fight, because as soon as I go down that bridge, they're going to sick even more dogs on me. Yep, there they are. <laughs> they brought a Draugr. Did I get him? <laughs> you didn't tell me if I got him or not, boy. Anyway, here is this chest. I forget what they're called, but it took me a while to figure out where the, the runes were, because there's one right there, but I'm surprised that it took me as long as I did to figure out where the other ones were. So, let me do that first one first. Think that side hallway will get us to the temple? We will find out. So, the first one is behind us. And that's one destroyed, and we get this chest for good measure. I might have taken a hit for the cooldown, but I think it'll be worth it. But where are the other two? Well, as you can see, this thing goes down in pieces. So... Actually, I wonder. Because there's one of them right there. Can I hit it from here? Okay. Tricky. Very tricky. And here's three. But I think I know what to do.
gotcha. And now I claim my prize. Is it gonna be a horn? Is it gonna be an apple? It's an apple. We got an apple here. And now we go. Because I've got lots more getting beat up to do. The dark elves are flying all over this place. You were wrong back there. Oh. I know Mother's voice better than anyone. It was her. She is gone, boy. Speak no more of this. Fine. Kratos, you of all people should know that just because something dies doesn't mean it's gone forever. Sometimes the things you kill don't stay dead. Or do you need to look in a mirror? Like, I know that it's basically a bit of a meme, but do I have to play that song by Aerosmith? Every time I look in the mirror All these lines of my face getting clearer Now this part is actually pretty action-driven, and it's the point where I realized that I had made a mistake coming this way because I knew I wasn't going to go back and be able to get that chest. two of them here. Boy, stay close to me. <laughs> right, let's go up. Atreus! Boy, get off me! I kind of wish he did a, diff a unique attack whenever he was enraged. Boy, hang on, boy. Hold on, boy. Bye. Come on, Kratos! Just like old times! Run, boy! Run, boy, run! My axe! Give me that! Your hands off my son. Thanks. <sighs> Exciting, isn't it? Previous skill required.
All right, I think that's enough for now. You okay? That's right. I never came back for this one. Hmm. Or did I? I uh, can't seem to remember. No way across here. Too bad the witch's bowstring doesn't work anymore. Thanks for reminding me. You're gonna have to step into the light to receive that power. It's gonna be useful. But what is this? Some kind of soul well? So you hold. You do that by holding R1. Wonder how many times I can combo it. Seems unlimited. <laughs> Let's go, boy. You better pray that I can get my rage meter up by the time we get where we're going. Hey, you sure the witch is okay? I'd hate to think she died helping us. She knew what she was doing. Okay. See, the truth is, Kratos really doesn't care. We need to get that crystal working in order to use this lift. Hmm. I was never able to open those chests. But I mean, I'm certain that on some level, at some point in the game, I will have to come back here. Because, like, they couldn't just be setting all this up just for one round. Just for a... just one go-through. Seize the day. Ugh. Ugh. More of it. If we cut away enough, we'll be able to reactivate the crystals. So, let's get cutting. If we cut enough away, the bridge above us should reappear. Right. Expect resistance. Right. Because the Dark Elves don't give up what is theirs. Let's climb. We're about to go into a pretty intense battle, people. Took me a while to figure this battle out, but I think I should have the hang of it. There! 
Well, you better believe it. Come on. Oh, great. He's brought back up. Oh, I missed. Keep him down, boy. And that is how you rock and roll. We did it. You okay? Well, there it is. Watch our backs, boy. Beast theory. Fragmented heart of Alfheim. Rare element. Hearts of stone. Crafts the ancients. Armor. Mmm. Very nice. Oh, not bad, not bad. Uh, Numiana. Where's the bestiary? I cannot believe that I didn't read this. <laughs> I guess I was so overwhelmed at the time. <laughs> we just woke up the world serpent of Midgard. Father thought he was going to try to eat us, but Mother always said that Jormungandr was a friendly giant. What is this game trying to do? He tried speaking to us, but I couldn't understand him. I wonder if that's the language all giants speak. He doesn't seem very interested in us right now. I wish we could talk to him. I have so many questions. Where did he come from? What does he do all day? What does he eat? Maybe we could find another way to talk to him. You know, I know that this game is basically leading towards Ragnarok, and it's going to basically show the Norse gods in an unflattering light. I can't help but sort of think that when it comes to Jormungandr, it's going to do the same thing that they did with the Titans in God of War 2. The fact that, really, when you get down to it, the Titans were just manipulating Kratos, and they end up being just as, if not worse, than the gods. A strange man covered in tattoos came to the house and attacked Father. It must have been some fight. Everything's broken. Father said I wasn't ready earlier. But something about killing this stranger changed his mind. I guess. Who was he? What did he want with us? 
We're nobodies. And I think that I read that. But seriously, where is the Stone Ancient? There we go. That looks nothing like what I just killed. One of the Ancients. I can't believe it. Did Mom know they were still alive? They're, well, ancient. Supposedly they're... Supposedly they're a part of Ymir himself. And they've been around since the beginning of beginning of time. I thought they were all in... I thought they were all in Midgard. I wonder why this one is in Alfheim. <laughs> I can't believe it. I didn't need to engage my rage for that fight. I guess that's the difference when you know what you're doing, huh? 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 <laughs> And that's like the first rage stone that I've seen in a while. The idea was that I would basically have my rage filled up, use my rage to fight that thing, and then basically I would pop this thing when I was out. There? Hold on, boy, I got an ancient chest here. <laughs> Nord's Tempest. Light runic attack. Hmm. My, my, my. This is the source of these plants. It's too durable. Gotta freeze it first. Freezing it first. Smoke. <laughs> In this universe, there is only one absolute. Ever. I did it! We brought the main bridge back! We must find a way up. Right, so now we find our way back up. Shouldn't be a problem now that all the crystals are reactivated. All the bridges should be as well. So... Great. Green grabs of greasy grimy go forgets. Huh. Let's hang on to it. A new artifact set. Yep, the spoils of war. I can't read that. I'm sorry. My eyes are not what they used to be. And it's ironic that I'm saying that while looking at a gigantic ass television and the text is still too small for me. Huh. Guess the light makes more than bridges. Maybe this will spit us out on top. It will. But I don't want to go that way just yet because I didn't explore this place. Thoroughly, last time after we opened up the bridges. Boy, we're gonna go back up in a minute. Just let me do what I do. Because it never hurts to do a little bit of backtracking, boy. Remember that. Especially when you're on the lookout for treasure. That's odd. That plant is still alive. Why does it keep regenerating? Hmm. 
we're definitely going to have to come back here once we have the light, so I shouldn't worry about it. Telling myself to not worry about things. Right, elevator going up. Never get used to walking on solid light. We're walking on sunshine. Oh. The door. There's no seam. What? We have a problem. Kratos, I'm pretty sure that of a man of your caliber, every wall is a door that just ha hasn't tried being one yet. These doors do not open. Hello? I don't get it. Why even have a door then? Hello? Come, we will find another way in. This basically was one of my favorite ones because we're about to basically come across another one of those chests. As you can see, the bell down there. More of those bells. A Nornir chest must be nearby. A Nornir chest. And where is the chest? Well, it's behind that door, of course. But you've got more of this dark elf, these dark elf plants guarding it. As you can see, there's one inside and one on the outside. So... <sighs> Gotta get both. And the best part about it is, I was looking for the third bell for so long, because I, I remember telling myself, all three of them would have to be relatively close to the chest, so that you can basically shoot them successfully. And then I opened up that door and found the third bell was literally right on top of it the entire time. I cannot believe I screwed that up. I don't even know how I screwed up that time. Right, what's going to be in this one? As if I didn't already know. Let's have a drink. Bloodhorn Mead. You have collected three of three. Blood Mead needed to increase maximum rage. You have collected three horns of Blood Mead. Maximum rage increased. Which is good, because, like, considering that that, cut, that interaction where Atreus got grabbed, there are going to be points in this game where you do get unlimited rage, so that's going to be fun. Yeah. The only thing I don't like is that it's still outpaced by my health. It's like, I kind of want these things to be even. Also, how come Kratos hasn't learned a magic spell yet? Anyway, that takes care of that treasure. How much time have we been going for? 
Wow, it's almost been 58 minutes. I thought that I was making better time than I did last time. Anyway, let's go on over here. You know what, I think I might keep going just a little bit. Because we're about to have some funny dialogue. The dwarf again. Sindri? Sidri? What the heck is he doing all the way out here? And how did he get here before us? And why is he here? Hey Sindri, we found something interesting. Oh really? I love something interesting. Whoa! You killed an ancient? Yes. Was it? Difficult? Yes. Is that all you're gonna give me? Yes. Wait. Oh man. I thought that basically by clicking next line it would basically skip through it so I didn't touch it. So did Does anybody know does that line of another one here? Hmm. The giant's a sorceress. Her name is Groa. Looks like she had visions. Did Odin kill her for her book? Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go back to the last checkpoint because I have the last checkpoint should be close by. Groa, a giant sorceress and a powerful seer slain by Odin. Did he s steal her book of visions? Right. I'm gonna restart from the last checkpoint to see if anything changes, because next line. They wouldn't give you that option if it basically, if that dialogue went that quickly. How are you here before us? Unbelievable. Storm? Let's see. This should be it. Okay, so we're back here. No problem. Look! The blue door! We made it! You know, I will never get used to walking on solid light. The door. There's no seam. What? We have a problem. These doors do not open. Hello? I don't get it. I even have a door then. Hello? To make it seem like you're actually Come, we will find another way to in. make it seem like you're actually sociable when you're actually antisocial. More of those bells. A Nornir chest must be nearby. Wait, have we already gotten it? Are they gonna count us for having? Yeah, look at my rage meter. I mean, it's not fully powered up, but it has that extra notch. But why isn't it fully powered up? Boy, I blame you for this. Alright, let's see what the dwarf can tell us. The dwarf again. Sindri? Hey Sindri, we found something interesting. Oh really? I love something interesting. Whoa. You killed? Yes. Was it? Yes. Is that... Yes. Unbelievable. What's the point, then? How are you here before us, dwarf? We were told our path was the only one between realms. Oh, 
it may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. There's so little mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. Where to comb the realms for exotic resources. How to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic, but... Uh, oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? Usually Kratos kills someone who gives him the runaround like that. Sindri, have you always been so... Clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Ugh, so small you can't even see them. No. It's true. And if they get inside you, they make you sick. But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading. So now, I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Okay, back to work. I don't know what I find funnier. The idea that in this game, a witch basically told him about, I don't know, uh, bacteria and uh, microorganisms. Basically, germs, basically all that stuff. Or the fact that she's clearly basically conning him into basically, like, buying oak wood from her because I have never heard of oak wood actually preventing any of that. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Boy. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals His using... bare skin. His own bare hands. <laughs> No gloves. Says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver and it changes your skin irreparably. That means forever. <laughs> I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. <laughs> you know how sensitive he can be. I guess that makes sense. I honestly can't believe it. The canonical reason that Brock is blue isn't because he's a dwarf like I thought. It's because... It's because he has silver poisoning. Can you believe that? <laughs> I mean, he, sure he's touching it, but he'd probably have to ingest it too. Sindri, why don't you just make up with your brother already? Me? Make up with him? Because he's an obstinate pighead incapable of change. Because he says the most terrible things about me. Just because he's insecure about his own work. Which, let me tell you, is subpar. Because he blames me for... For the things that aren't my fault. Huh? Like what? Would you pardon me, please? I need to collect myself. You know, Atreus asking... Uh... Sidri why Brock is blue and he isn't. It kind of reminds me of this one joke that I found online. Basically like, you know how when they're in boats, Atreus basically asks Kratos questions and sometimes Kratos will tell him stories? I can only imagine that this is exactly what would happen if Atreus ever asked him this question. Father, why is your skin so pale? I think we can go Ask your here. sister. <laughs> What speaks to you? Let's see. Chest armor. Pauldron of the Ancients. That would almost take all my hack silver, and I need even more ancient material. Level 3 plus. Reinforced plates. You know, maybe I should invest in getting Kratos some legitimate armor. I just don't want to cover up those glorious pecs of his. And plus, no matter which one I get, I seem to be taking a downgrade in cooldown time. But sure, I'm getting a boost in everything else, but how much? How how could that be worth or, it? Or never mind that. Here, boy, another one. Hmm. This giant's a sorceress. Her name is Groa. Looks like she had visions. Did Odin kill her for her book? 
Ask your sister. <laughs> this way. Let's go, boy. Because this should be the way into the temple. So how much farther could it be? Guess this... We're inside. Guess this must be the of course. You know what? I think that basically that was a sign from the universe. I'm going to call it quits for right now and just going to save and just kind of move on. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to keep up to date with more God of War, continuing the belated year of God of War, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. I'll see you guys. Bye.